Ladies and gentlemen, uh... welcome to Nuketown Zombies. Now, I made this in about a week or two's time, probably the second week. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Well, I, I made this in about two weeks' time. We'll say one week of actually making it, another week of polishing it up. Got a little bit of help from Game Store, helped with some of the interior decorating and stuff. But I made a fully functioning Nuketown Zombies in vanilla Minecraft Bedrock Edition on PS4. Now, um, you might have seen that I made Nocturne Toten as well previously. Now, let me just actually take a moment to heal up. Oh my gosh. So this has all the elements from Nox made even better. So killing zombies, of course, awards us points in the top right. You can use these points to open doors, to buy weapons, to spin the mystery box. But something that is new to this map and unique, besides the honestly amazing scenery of the perfect recreation of a nuke in a tower, and uh, the clock tower I should say, but um, the new unique feature is actually perks. There are perks on this map just like the original Nuketown Zombies. If you come in here we're going to find Quick Revive which is actually regeneration. They all have a, you know, a correlating effect within Minecraft. Now I need to buy a weapon real quick. I'm going to try to earn enough points, show you guys around the map, show you guys uh, some of the decorations, some of the wall weapons, some of the weapons in the box, some of the perks, and then we're going to, uh, you know, call it there. This map also actually does have a viable ending, just like Noct, and uh, all my future maps will have as well. I just find that a viable ending kind of gives you more incentive to play and keep going, so I, I include that in- ooh, an iron sword the zombie dropped. I actually include and let them drop certain items and weapons, so it's, you know, it's a little fair. It's especially an easy way to get armor, since uh, it's kind of rare. Oh, gosh. And the baby zombies are just the absolute worst. They're the worst thing you're going to come across. Now, if I'm being honest, if I get enough points here real quick, Quick Revive is a crutch perk, because when you get it, it um, it's regeneration, so... As long as you're not overwhelmed, as long as you can stay away from zombies for an extended period of time, you're going to be okay. So it, it kind of makes it like normal zombies as compared to Minecraft fighting zombies where uh, your regen is very slow. But uh, let's kill these baby zombies real quick. And uh, we're going to try to open up one of the doors, head to one of the backyards, show you around a bit. So like Noct, there are easter eggs hidden around. You can find the weapons and items and food to help you out throughout the map. I'm not going to show you any of the locations just in case any of you actually get to play the map in the future. And you don't just know all the secrets right off rip. And oh my gosh, leather armor's here, but I'm getting pinned. Good thing I have regeneration, saves my life. Now the thing about the perks, what's nice about them, you can stack up all four perks. There's only four perks on the map. The catch is, when you die, you lose all your perks. The good thing is, you don't lose any weapons or your points or anything like that. It's just all your perks, which, I mean, still pretty disappointing if you uh, do lose. But uh, actually, let's make our way through this back door here, greenhouse. I'll show you a little bit of the interior. Um, Jordan did a lot of the decorating of the kitchens and uh, the living room and stuff. But we're going to head upstairs. I think there's some zombies up here. We'll take them out real quick. Now, since this is vanilla, I had to use all command blocks to make everything. It's it's a lot of work, uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's take out these zombies. I almost just want to show you guys the scenery, but I figured, you know, got to get some action in here too. Uh, I'm going to buy double tap next, honestly, it's going to help out a lot. <laughs> double tap in this actually increases your damage, it gives you a strength pot, pretty much. So that's really useful. Also, kind of a crutch perk, I would say. But it's not like all the perks are weak or anything besides the crutch ones. It's like all of them have their own perfect benefits. So obviously, double tap here is strength. Um, we have quick revive, which is regeneration. Over here, we have stamina up, which is speed. And then on the opposite side of the map, we also have... Well, I'll just show you once we get over there. All right, zombie. Can you drop that iron sword for me? I'd... Uh, he did drop it. Well, we could kind of take a look around here. I, we actually did make the entire street, so you'll be able to see the backyards of all the other houses and stuff. Um, it's perfect recreation of the original Nuketown Zombies from Black Ops 2. Got this little shed here, which you can't actually go inside. Everything's, you know, pretty patched up. There's no glitches or anything. Nothing game-breaking. The bunker, of course, the classic bunker, is the escape 
patch. So you can escape the map for 15,000 points. Either, uh, you know, whenever you're ready. Oop, I'm actually starving. Or just by hoarding up all your points right away, which might be a fast speed run way to do it. So the thing about these maps that I make, it's all done by mob spawners and stuff and command blocks, like I said. So the catch is that basically the more players you have, the more difficult it's going to be. Like, the more zombies there's going to be. Um, for the most part, it just stays on normal difficulty. But I, I have considered, you know, making an option to turn it to hard. Which you can always do in your own settings if you'd like as well. Had to get some food. And you will notice um, we've actually replaced the mannequins with... Uh, the Minecraft armor stands, which are really cool because you can make them dance and stuff. You can actually do that in-game as well, which is pretty nice. You can get up on the balconies. Like I said, there's no glitches or anything. You can't jump to here. You can't get up too high for the zombies can't reach you. It's perfectly balanced, perfectly fair. Here we have the truck. I'm not going to open up the truck because it's kind of expensive, but we've got some grenades in there and a special little weapon in there as well. Uh, the grenades are very useful if you've seen them on Nox because they're health pots. They damage the zombies, but they also heal you, so it's you know pretty effective, I'd say. So my weapon's actually actually about to break, so I'm gonna head back here to the box, hit the box, and I got a diamond pickaxe. Now it's 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 a random box, right? So there's good stuff, there's bad stuff, there's really good stuff like a diamond sword, you know, stuff like that. Now for those of you thinking, you know, where's pack a punch and stuff? Well, this is Nuketown, and it's only my second zombies map that I'm making on Minecraft. So I wanted to kind of keep it simple, I'm just doing the perks, that's kind of the main part of Nuketown Zombies anyways, kind of waiting for all the perks to crash down. I know, obviously, Pack-a-Punch can be included in that, but I'm going to hold off on Pack-a-Punch and wait for, you know, make, make something bigger, more grand for the reveal of Pack-a-Punch uh, in, a, in a Zombies map, so that'll be cool. You'll also notice there's a bunch of cracks around, around the map and on the road, and oh my god, zombies everywhere. And, but these cracks are kind of to replicate the uh, the normal cracks that are actually in Nuketown Zombies that actually elevate the ground a bit. Ooh, I just got a lot of armor from these boys. You can f buy armor from around the map. You'll see that uh, leather armor is at spawn, and behind one of the houses is uh, iron armor. Alright, let me head to this backyard here, kind of show it off a little bit. Oh, we got some zombies inside. Take them out. I should, suppose I should show off the inside of this house as well. Let me take out- oh my gosh, every time I turn around, there's just more zombies waiting for me. And you're gonna notice regeneration's really saving me most of the time. But, uh, it's especially vital whenever you're playing with, like, three, four players, because then there's just way too many zombies for you to handle, so the, uh, regen helps out a lot there. So I could buy chicken downstairs there. We got a zombie up here chilling. Um, this window, this area. Like I said, uh, I just, you know, spoiled a secret spot for a weapon, but you know, there you go. <laughs> now, I did keep this bunker here that you could open in this backyard. Um, we can actually open it right now, so let's kill some of these zombies. Gosh, there's so many of them. Now, the, the thing is, I could not do any sort of, like, random drop, right? I can't really do that in Minecraft, at least vanilla. I can't give you a random drop, like insta-kill or something. So back here, instead, better yet, you can open this. For 3,000, a free diamond sword, which is uh, gonna help out a lot, as this map can be uh, pretty difficult, not gonna lie. We have all the old, uh, kind of, purchasables, you know, bow, arrow, axes, swords, pickaxes. Um, we got Jug over here, which actually just gives you more hearts per minute as well. Like, it even regens and stuff like that. Unless, of course, you die. Like I said, you lose all your perks when you die. Now, I could hit the box here. I could open the rest of the map. I could buy some armor. I could open these stairs. I could buy Jug. But I'm going to save enough up enough points. I'm going to purchase the ending. And then we're going to get a nice, good overview of the map. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright guys, we're back here. I almost have 20,000 points, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is buy all the perks. So you can see what it's like when you have all the perks. It actually makes you feel kind of godlike, not going to lie. So here we have Stamina Up, um, Double Tap, and Quick Revive. So let's go buy Jug to complete this uh, mission here. And of course we're going to have enough for the buyable ending, which is 15,000. So let's run all the way over here, avoid all these zombies. Actually, we'll kill this one here. All right, we're gonna run back here, and here we have Juggernog, 2,500. Gives you two extra hearts. Now it doesn't sound like a lot, but you have to think it can regen as well. It's it's a few hits, so that's nice to know. 
All right, let's uh, take out these zombies. Get out of here. We're gonna make our way to the Bible ending. Fight our way over there, anyways. Get across these cracks without trying not to fall in them. All right, zombies. All right, we're almost there. Let's run back here. You can see speed honestly makes it stamina up. I should say makes it really fast. It's really nice. All right, let's open up this Bible ending, and boom. We have escaped. Now you can't actually go in there yet. Um, I could expand it, make it so you can go down there if you'd like. But that is the map. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, oh, you might see there, there's actually a timer in the top right as well. Times your minutes and seconds, so it took me about 15 minutes to beat the map. So let me go ahead and change myself to creative real quick. And I'm going to fly up and show you guys around. Um, we built this, or I built this nuke, I should say. I had a much better one, but it was really small. And I wanted to be much larger, at, like the original nuke in Black Ops 2, so I deleted it and made that. We've got the tower here, both the houses, and both the outside of the map houses with their backyards, holes and stuff, and craters around the map, and uh, the cracks in the road, all here in details. But anyways, um, hopefully you guys will get to try this map in the future, whether that be in the Microsoft Store or through me. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But thank you all for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed and like this map and want to see some more Zombies maps in Minecraft, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more Minecraft. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.